Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and big news on the Unity front and I wanted to quickly hit you all with the best details because I was away yesterday so I couldn't make a video on it. First of all, if you're on a Unity Personal, which is a free version of Unity, there will be zero fees to pay in any capacity if your revenue is below $200,000. And they've even added in the new feature that if you want to remove the Unity splash screen, it will be completely your choice to do so. But the removal of the splash screen is only in the LTS version, which will be classed as 2023 LTS or later. So previous versions will have the old terms of service. So therefore, unless you had the pro license or previously the plus license, you won't be able to remove the splash screen, but going forward, you will be. And Unity are calling this the runtime fee, just so that everybody has the information in the mind that the runtime fee is based on two different scenarios, either a revenue share or a one for initial engagements, but we'll go into that. But as I just said, that the runtime fee is only looking forward. It's not retroactively. So therefore, it will only apply for Unity version 2023 LTS or above and any engine that you use previously, you will not be subjected to any of these new fees. So, and then at the end, the runtime fee is completely self-reported now and you will have a choice to use two different scenarios is that there will be a, on a monthly basis, you will be able to choose between the 2.5% revenue share on your gross revenue or some fee based on your initial engagements and initial engagements are specifically now about units sold rather than installs. So it doesn't matter how many particular installs you have and there'll be no magic system behind the scenes. And they've got a big page here, which I'll link, which has all the changes, the pricing, the information and everything that you might need to find with everything that you need to know. And of course, if you do have any suggestions, you can put them down below, but we'll look at the rest of the FAQ, which might be relevant to you. One of the questions you might ask is, does the runtime fee apply to my game? But as we said, if you're in previous versions of Unity, previous to 2023 LTS, it will not apply at all. So if you go over 200,000, you will just need to buy Unity Pro. Then you will get a new threshold of $1 million in the last 12 months of gross revenue. You will also need to fill the criteria of a million lifetime engagements, which is sales, to even have to play either a 2.5% revenue share or the particular unit-based engagement fee. Now, another question, what is the runtime fee? On a monthly basis, everybody's subject to the runtime fee if you've reached over the thresholds. Now, in this case, for the initial engagement or the runtime fee policy, this just means if you were selling a game on Steam, this would be the initial download or the thing, even if the customer downloads it again, it wouldn't matter if it was a mobile platform, even if it was free, then that would be its initial download, no matter if that user decides to download it again. So again, it's not based on installs. One user with one account installs it 10 different times. There will be still only one prime engagement. And then this question asks that, how do you expect to measure the initial engagements? And because it's self-reported now, this is based on units sold. And this could be, if you're in Steam, you'll have analytics to say how many units you've sold. If it's first time user downloads, like from a mobile app store, you have distributors, which will have a number of distinct user accounts that have downloaded the game. And you can now look at the terms of service on GitHub and it'll be updated and it will keep you and they will make sure to keep this online to make sure that you know when the actual terms of services have updated, which people worried about originally. And if you're confused at all, there's a new runtime fee calculator. So in this case, if you are a regular developer and you're on Unity Personal and your business review doesn't exceed $200,000, if that's a no, and if you released in previous versions, you'll pay nothing. Let's say you've created a game in Unity 2023, yes, and you don't exceed $200,000, you pay no fees. Even if you've extended that, you've made over 200,000 and you made your game in Unity 2023, you will just be required to buy Unity Pro, which is $2,000 per year. So then we move to this section and then we say, does my game exceed 1 million gross within 12 months? You could say, no, I did well, but it didn't receive that. So nothing to pay. Then 
Did it get over a million engagements? No, nothing to pay. And if you were below the 2023 version, you would still have nothing to pay irrespective of these values in this terms of this new revenue fee. So if we built a game in the newest version, we have over a million engagements and we made over a million. This is the amount that we make per month over that 1 million. We can say that we earn $30,000 every month and we sell 10,000 units and that might be $3 per unit. Then you would pay the estimated monthly runtime fee, which is around $750 and it will never exceed 2.5% of the overall revenue that you've ever taken in. So all in all, all these features make it a much, much clearer situation. Purposely irons out all the things that the community was worried about. And hopefully Unity continue to get back on track and continue to sort out the issues and try to improve the trust that has been wavering for the engine so far. So let me know your thoughts. I'd love to see what you think. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description across tutorials, game dev, all the best bundles, everything on the Unity store and everything that you can get for special savings. Check out my new website for massive savings on my assets, including 20% off the Unity asset store price, another 10% if you sign up for the newsletter and a big thank you to Peter Steiner for supporting the channel and all the other amazing patrons. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.